Well, hello. I am Dilly Briggs with Center Stage Magazine, and I'm getting to speak with the members of rock band Awake at Last. How are you guys doing tonight? We are doing great. Awesome. Well, I know the whole band is together now. Um, we did touch base a little earlier, and you said sometimes it's hard to get everybody together. But um, right now you're all together because you happen to be going on tour. And since this is an audio-only interview, can you please introduce yourselves to the listeners out there and tell them um, what you do or what you play in the band? Uh, my name is John Finney, and I play drums for a week at last. My name is Tyler Green, and I play bass guitar. My name is Imran. I play guitar. My name is Eric Blackley. I play guitar. And I'm Vincent Torres, and I'm the singer. Awesome. So this way, at least, you know, people can kind of pick out your voices a little bit, you know, so who was, you know, who's answering what. Now, I have been listening to a lot of your music, and I really have to say I do like the type of rock that you guys play. It's very dramatic. You have, like, a very dramatic sound to it. And I really like that um, – Melody, you know, melodic vibe that you have. It doesn't. It has like a hard sound, but without all that screaming. You don't have a lot of like screaming lyrics, but you still have a very hard sound about you. Um, what are your influences? You know, can you kind of bring up what the influences you had? Uh, yeah. Um, I we uh, we all of us as band members have a whole bunch of different influences that I think like really, you know, help create our sound. I'd like to think that we're like reminiscent of like the use of the My Chemical Romance era, but you know, we blend in, you know, more theatrical stuff, like, you know, like the big muse is one of my personal favorites. Like so I that's where a lot of my stuff comes from. I mean, everyone in here has got like their bands that's like, you know, formed and crafted, you know, how they how they play and how they, you know, contribute to our sound. Okay, well, that's really cool. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I mean, like I said, you have a nice, hard sound to you, but at the same time, there's a lot of melody in there, you know, and, and I really like that. It did have that theatrical, dramatic sound, and it was really cool. I really liked the vibe that I got off of everything. And um, now, also, I know that you're on tour right now at this very moment, and um, can you tell us where you're at and where you're going to be headed out next? We're in uh, Augusta, Georgia at Iron Heights, and uh, tomorrow we'll be playing Cluckers in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And where are you going to where are you going to go from there? Uh, Is it like, it's uh, then, up, like... After I'm sorry, Myrtle Beach, again? we're I'm sorry. After Myrtle Beach, we're in Richmond, Virginia, at the Canal Club, and then we'll be uh, doing a, a house show in Jersey, in New Jersey. Oh, okay. Now, and when you come back, you did mention before that you were going to be uh, recording um, sometime in April. Now, that's the new EP that you have coming out, correct? Yes. And I saw that you are you're going to do something different for the fans, something that I've never really seen before. I saw that you're giving fans a chance to participate in your new EP by having um, perk packs available to them. Could you explain to the listeners out there what does that mean by perk packs and how can they access that? Yeah, we um so in order to to record the EP, you know, uh, it's it's going to be pretty expensive. So what we did is we uh we found a, a website called Indiegogo where we can uh, provide prizes and perks to the fans in order in order for them you know to like help donate to the cause and help donate to us making the record because you know it's a very expensive endeavor. So, you know, they can win all kinds of cool, like, prizes and stuff. And, you know, even, like, you know, from having their name, like, uh, you know, on a special thank you part of the CD, so, you know. Oh, that's cool. Like, yeah, we're doing a um, we're doing a T-shirt design that we're only going to be using for the Indiegogo. So it's going to be, like, real limited. And, you know, we got house shows <laughs> and acoustic house shows as well. Yeah, like, yeah, even, like, you know, if they donate, you know, a certain amount, we'll even, like, go to their house and play a, a private, you know, acoustic show for them and their friends, or we'll do a full band show for them and their friends, you know. So we just, like, you know, it's just a way to get everybody kind of involved so that they, you know, they all kind of help contribute to the cause. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, I've never seen another band do that before, and I thought that was a really awesome way to get the fans more involved, like you said, and, and a lot of fans really would like to be more involved if they can, you know, so that was a really cool way to bring that about, you know, I like that. Now, um, I know you did say before that you had a little bit of issues and your tour bus ended up breaking down on you. Is everything taken care of now? Because I know you had to cancel a few shows. 
is everything back on track for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we got we got old Beth back on the road. She's she's doing all right now. Oh, good. So well, that's very good because I know when you said that, I was like, oh no, you know, and um, that just pushes everything back for you. So um, yeah, yeah, it was it was a definitely a speed bump. So, well, now is uh, where are all the um, social links and stuff? What are your social media sites that fans can catch you on and hear your music? Uh, we um, we're actually available through uh, all kinds of uh, social media links. Uh, we have a, a website of, called awakeatlastrock.com. It's literally like our go-to home website. It has everything that we're linked to and every all of our music and stuff available. And you know, even the uh, the Indiegogo page is going to be on there. And uh, so, like you know, we have our own website, Awake at Last Rock. Um, we're also available, you know, through Facebook, Twitter, you know. Uh, Instagram, we're Snapchat. We just we, we're 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 totally out there. Uh, you can even stream our music on uh, iTunes or Spotify. You know, so we're we're like we're definitely you know just a click away. Yeah. So you're all over the place. Anybody can catch you anywhere, basically. Hopefully, all they gotta do is type in our name, and something will pop up. Oh well, that's awesome. Very good. So now, um, what is the name of your uh, the new EP you're going to be recording? We actually don't have a name for it yet. It's still very much in its, like, developmental phase. But, uh, you know, maybe if we, you know, we'll probably release the name, you know, soon once once we actually get in the studio and we, like, really feel the vibes out and see what, you know, what it becomes about. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I get you. I understand. And, and how long do you think it'll be before the EP is out so fans can, you know, where fans can get the new EP? We're, we're hoping uh, we're hoping by July we can have it out. It's if not July, maybe August, possibly September. Right now, the release date's still up in the air. Yeah, the release date's still up in the air. We we are ideally aiming to be able to get it out there, you know, during the summer months so that we can go out and tour it, and, you know, and, like, you know, you know, put it out there and, you know, get some people to check it out and listen to it and stuff. Very cool. Now, um, I know you guys formed back in 2011, if, if my information is correct, but you've uh, had several different uh, band members, you know, come and go and stuff like that. How long have you guys now uh, been together as, like, you five? Um, yeah, uh, this 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 current lineup has been around for about a year. Uh, Eric and I formed the band back in 2011. Um, you know, Tyler joined in 2012, Amron joined in 2014, and Finney just completed the lineup, like, you know, about eight to ten months ago, something like that, almost a year. Yeah, 11 months ago. Yeah, so Finney, Finney's, Finney's new to the band, but, you know, he's a great drummer, and we're having a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, well, everything sounded absolutely wonderful. I loved it. It was great. So, um, okay, so you guys have been, like, for about a year then that you guys have been together, and how did you guys actually meet? I mean, were you just some different bands coming together, just maybe <clears> school <throat> work, or...? Yeah, different bands, uh, social media networking also as well. That's how we picked up Imran. Uh, we knew each other from, you know, we were in previous group. Different bands basically trying to do the same thing. So we came together uh, when he found out his uh, old band wasn't working. and uh, We had worked together several times, so that's kind of how that came up. And then the rest of the members, it's like, other bands in the music scene from where we come from at home. Very cool, very cool. Well, I really like the sound, and when you get the new EP done, um, are you guys going to be going on tour again? You plan to tour immediately after that? Yeah, yeah, yeah constant, most definitely. Constant touring and constant pushing of this new EP. Awesome. Well, I'll tell you what, whenever you guys do decide on the name, you can just, you know, give us a ring, and we can just kind of put out there, hey, you remember when we did that, you know, interview with Awake at Last? Well, here's some, you know, the new EP, and this is the name of it, or, you know, whatever for you to help put that out for you, you know. That's yeah, totally. That's a problem, you know. So, yeah, thank you very much for all the information, you know. So, you heard them, everybody. Make sure you check out Awake at Last. They're touring right now. They will be uh, recording their new EP in April. They are also giving out perk packs to fans who would like to participate, um, you know, in the, with the music, different types of perk packs um, that you can get, and they can just go on your sites, and it's on your, it'll be on, was it Indiegogo, you said, that site? Yeah, Indiegogo. Uh, the Indiegogo there's a big site. link on our main webpage that they can, they can easily click on. Okay, great. So, yeah, you heard them, click on their sites, check them out, help out the band, you know, and... 
yeah, I thank you so much for taking the time out for speaking with me. Because, again, I know you're on tour right now, and, like, you just got off of stage, correct? Yes. How was that? How was that playing tonight? It was actually really good. Um, the venue was really, like, cool. They had a great light show going on, you know, a lot of during the day, there's you know a lot of people in and out, but by the time we got up there, I mean the room was pretty packed out. It was awesome, you know. It, it was great to like get that much support, you know, down here so far away from home. Awesome. Now, where is home for you guys? Is that Delaware, or is that yeah? We're from uh, well, most of us are from Delaware. Uh, four of us are all from Delaware, and Imran is actually from Staten Island, New York. Oh, okay. So, but you definitely came together, you know, and made a great team. I really like the sound. I think you guys are great. I am very glad that I was able to catch you again because I knew you were on stage and, you know, the interview was supposed to be set up a little bit earlier today and things just happened. So it's, you know, in the evening and I'm glad I was still able to talk to you. And again, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, you're definitely welcome. So I'm just, I'm definitely recommending for people to check you out. I really like the sound. It was very cool. I think fans will really definitely like it. Click on their media sites again. Check out the perk packs that they have. And, um, yeah, so thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate that you took the time out right after stage. You should be tired and packing up, getting ready to go home, and not, you know, instead you're having to talk to me. So <laughs> thank you very no, much for taking the time out. And, yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Well, this is Dilly Briggs with Center Stage Magazine. Once again, talking to the guys from Awake at Last. And we will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Take care. You take care, too. All right. Have a nice night.